hello everybody how are you doing uh, like I said I wasn't sure if you wanted this in the picture or not we'll just turn this turn this off and just have him there that looks better all right as promised we have Chaucer's mead we also have spices I'm not going to make it hot this time we're just going to give it a try and see how it tastes by itself. Oh, yes, I am wearing makeup today. Oh, it's kind of hard to see with the lighting. I should have done this at the table. Um, we can move to the table, I suppose. But I like to do that for, say that for unboxings and packages because there's more room and I don't really need that much space right now. Yes, team naughty. <laughs> All right. Let's give this a taste. There are instructions on here for how to make this hot, spiced, but they don't say how much to use. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, scissors. If it's like a tea bag, maybe. It is. It's a tea bag. So we can see so how do you do it? Cold. Cold spice plus one to two spice bags in a pitcher of chilled meat for half an hour or longer, depending on desired spice in place in a refrigerator. Remove bag and enjoy. Hot spice one or two bags in a pot and simmer under a boil for five minutes, steep longer for more spice. Okay, so we're just going to get it cold. I might do some spice later, some other time. Just put these back in the fridge. So basically that's for a whole pitcher. So basically probably about a half a bottle. So these are for large quantities. I'm not quite sure how much spice to do for just one person. Oh yes, yeah, so makeup today. I've got hard candy. It's the Look Pro eyeshadow palette, and I did Ball and Chain, Heartbeat, and I can't read these. And then um, the brown one right here for my eyebrows, and a little bit of the. This red, reddish gold one here and some gold on my cheeks to make this look a little bit more holiday looking. So let's give this a try. Make like a Thor here and have a glass of mead. And I bought this at World Market. I had this in my World Market haul. So if you have a World Market near you, check them out. Total Wine might have it, I'm not sure. Cheers, Essex Digitalia. This mug is for you. Hmm. This is made from 100% pure honey. And it says... Chaucer's wine story began in the 1960s when Lawrence Brigetta created new premium wines made from fresh local fruit and honey in Santa Cruz County, California. This meat is still produced from California farms and reflects the vintage flavor, I guess, these regions. And it's supposed to be based on an original recipe by Chaucer. I think it was. Let me get the card. Hmm. 
brief history of mead. Mead, an old English word for honey, wine, has archaeological clues dating back at least 8,000 years. Many ancient cultures have historical ties with this enticing fermented honey libation. From the Greeks to the Vikings to the English, mead has enough myth, romance, and folklore to fill them out. And we've got a bit of a poem here. Her mouth was sweet as mead with honey, poured on apples in the hay, or heather stored. Chaucer's wine sir began, okay. In the 1960s, when the wine, a winery president, okay, he uh, decided he made, you know, I've already read that. Okay, so supposedly, it's, you know, it's like Chaucer's Canterbury Tales. It's, I think that's what it is. It's supposed to be similar to that, and that's why it's named that. Okay. And we have a recipe here for, you can, um, oh, there's also a raspberry mead as well. And there's a mead beer cocktail called a Braggot, which is an IPA, an IPA mixed with mead. So you can mix it with beer. Anyway, I almost started reading back on twice. Sorry. But, so that's kind of a history of it. And I've had mead before. Like I said, several years ago, I had another brand. I don't have the bottle in here. I have it in my storage closet. Or I could compare the two. But this is supposed to be a more classic. It, it's sweet, but it's not as heavy as the last time I had mead. In fact, if you like a sweet white wine, you'll like this because, to me, the taste of the mead is similar to a white, sweet white wine because some sweet white grapes have a kind of honey flavor to it. So it's kind of similar to that. So if you like that, try this. And so you can have with, let's see, what do we, you can have it with grilled meat, vegetables, um, dried fruit, cheese, etc. So, and it's good for the holidays. And you like so you can mull it or spice it. So we're starting Gothamus a little early by showing you this. So if you can get a hold of this, and you're 21 and older, go ahead. Um, it's excellent for the holidays. You can have it'd be great for a party. You could have this with you know, have this have it spiced, maybe some spiced hot cider, maybe some mulled wine. Um, you know, things like that. Along with your fruit cake and your cheese and the other hors d'oeuvres you have. So that's basically my um, review of the Chaucer's Mead. Um, it's not as heavy as the last time I had mead. Like I said, again, I don't, don't remember the name of the brand I had last time. I think it was a local one. I'm not sure. If I ever get around to digging through the storage closet again, if I find the bottle, I will let you know. Um, what else have we got? We've also got a bottle of Miha's blood orange, or is it pomegranate? The sign said blood orange, but it's showing pictures of pomegranate, so I'm going to read that before I tell you about it, because I want to make sure I'm giving you the right flavor. Yes, this is my, my mom clock is growing, on the side growing a little bit a little bit again. I wanted to, to keep it fairly trimmed so that it's not so bushy looking and I am still considering going another dye job on it possibly um, not a darker color or a purple or a black. There is a lightning kit Schwarzkopf has. I might go with a Schwarzkopf lightning and lighten it down. I don't I like the blue silver colors that are there but you can see well you can see the dark brown some of my natural color peeking through and then the that weird leftovers from the brown when I dyed my hair my natural color and it didn't take because it kept washing out um I don't know let me know should I leave it like this does it look cool with the bits of teal mixed with the gunmetal from the two times I tried to light you know dye it lighter 
um, with the brown weird shade of, I don't know, kind of a gold kind of honey colored faded brownish blonde. Now, um, should I leave it? Uh, should I get the lightning kit and try to go again with the gunmetal silver, the Sephiroth color? Yeah, let me know in the comments. Um, and also, um, let me know, have you ever tried mead? What brand you would recommend? And what you thought of it? Did you like it? Do you not like it? I know this is not goth, but it's historical. It's not renaissance um but yeah it's his it's old and it's historical and it's kind of neat like i said the greek it's like i said the greeks the vikings etc they all have had mead so it's been around a long time you don't have to be goth to drink it you don't have to drink it to be goth it's just something i personally recommend because it's different it's not regular wine I'm rambling. Um, anyway, next time we will do Miha's Sangria. And I will tell you a little bit more about that. Um, brain fart. Sometime the beginning of next month I will put up my tree. And hopefully Skitty doesn't knock it down. Um... Christmas shopping, I've already done the boys gifts, and I've done, I've done uh, everybody's gifts, and you just need to get a card for my family in Wisconsin. I'm just going to get them a card and put it for the whole family. Last year, I think, I believe it was last year, I made them all scarves, so they should be set for a while because scarves last until they fall apart, so they will be good for a few winters, so I'm just going to give them a card this year. The boys, I'm giving them only one gift this year. Ed, Ed Hardware Foster is getting Batsmaru as a bit of nostalgia back to when he was younger and Wes is getting a book about Vikings and I'm just standard stocking stuffers for the rest of the family in town here and I need to finish that blanket for my mother I need to get a beginner's needle to sew that together I've got one panel left it ended up being like a four seasons kind of thing because of like I said one is like shades of white and off-white and red and blue which is kind of a quasi-patriotic kind of fourth of july kind of thing um so that could be technically considered summer i guess and then i've got the winter one with the shade the blues and greens and oranges and browns and cream color for winter and then the fall is more oranges and browns and reds and then the one I'm doing now is Shades of Green, which would be Spring. So once I get them done, I'm going to piece that together. Winter, Spring, Summer, Fall. And hopefully it'll be, each panel's about this long, about not quite a foot, close to a foot. So it'll be about two feet. It'll be, 24, be about 24 by 24. She's tiny, so it should be just enough to cover her lap and her, down to her, from her lap down to her feet to keep her legs warm. So I'm going to try to finish that. Um, that's all I can think of for now. Um, I've, I do have a package on order from The Emporium in England, as I said. Um, it's a mystery bag. I'm not sure if it's a monthly subscription or if it is going to be a one-off. We'll find out. If it's a monthly subscription, it'll probably end up being a one-off if I don't have the money for her to take the money out because it costs it's costing her $17 to ship to the U.S. And she's doing that as a special thing because I'm sure I'm not the only one who asked her, could we do that? Because it's like, oh, you guys have, you have such cool stuff, we can't get it here. So she said, let me calculate it. It shouldn't be too bad. So look, be looking forward to that. When I get the mystery bag from Emporium, I will open that here so we've got a tree coming up um and emporium before that we've got another wine review i will try to do more holiday things during the month of gothmas for december i get paid twice so 
what I can get, I will show you. Most likely the grab bag, the mystery bag, will be during December because I'm not sure how long. It's like like Spooky Box, the like Spooky Box and all the other ones, Box of Goth. It's most it's all handmade, custom made the items. So it's going to take her a while to get those things done. So I probably won't probably will not be able to show you that till sometime in December. So look for that in December, my tree in December, and anything else I can get to show you in December, we will do. And last year, I don't know. Yeah, last year, 2018, I recall. Was it? Oh, I had gotten myself a gift, a Christmas present, birthday present, birthday, wake up, Julie. It's been a long day. Um, Tatum was a birthday present to myself. So maybe, and then this year, if I recall, all I did was a skull cake. So I might try to do something for myself for my birthday again this year. I'm going to be 58. <laughs> so we will see what I will do depending on income. And hopefully, fingers crossed for me, keep good thoughts, I still want to get a PS4. It's just not happening right now. So hopefully, somehow I can swing that. So we'll, we'll, I'm still hoping to get one. I really do want to. So when I do, I will show you. I can't show you Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm not a gaming channel. So I can't give you my review as that as a labeled video as in reviewing Kingdom Hearts 3, what I thought of Kingdom Hearts 3, because then it would be like the time I mentioned Mary and Witch's Flower, and yeah, that one got taken down due to copyright infringement, so I won't be able to do a review on the game, but I can mention it in passing. Uh, rambling, rambling, I'm going to make myself some supper. Again, um, yeah, this is the palette. Covering that up because there's a Wally World sticker on it. Oh, you can see the, see the screen on the screen. Let's open it real quick. It's nice colors. Um, it's got some pinks and oranges. Well, not oranges. Pink shades of pink and red and peach, gold, brown. So to me, it's more festive. It's festive looking. So it's it's I like it. And I haven't gotten a hard candy eyeshadow in a while, so it's a nice big palette. I did want to get the Perfusion Festival one, but it, I couldn't afford it this time, so I will try to get that one. It's got some shades of red in it as well. I like. I miss my Rigor Mortis red that I had when my younger son and I had my store, and I was able to buy makeup from Rigor Mortis. They had really good makeup. So I'm trying to find somebody to replace that. It's 15 years later, I still haven't found anybody, so... If you can recommend somebody that's not expensive, that has the red, still has the classic reds and blacks and purples and those kind of colors, add that to the comments as well. So, that being said, I'm talking too much. I will see you guys next time. Keep it dark. Keep it weird. Don't drag and drive. Please let the other monsters drive the hearse, but take turns. Don't be greedy monsters, okay? Just take turns. Have fun. Have a wonderful thanksgiving if i don't see you before that and i love you guys now bye like comment and subscribe and hit the bell